Okay, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. My name is Leah Patterson, and I am the coordinator here at the Rocket Lab. I want to first welcome you all and thank you for joining us today. We've got a great presentation. Um, the Rocket Lab, before we get into what we're doing today, let me tell you a little bit about what the Rocket Lab is. So the Rocket Lab is a resource center, an entrepreneurial hub for under-resourced entrepreneurs here at the Central Arkansas Library System at the Cox Building, and it's a partnership between the library system and advancing black entrepreneurship and this weekend we had a great soft opening open house uh, to, to welcome people into the space and basically what we do here is we provide access to capital to mentorship to tools to resources that these under-resourced entrepreneurs I myself am a part of that um, community just have typically not been able to have access to and so that is our main mission and so part of our mission is making sure that we're talking to these successful business owners that are doing it that are showing and paving the way uh, last time at our beyond the ideas um, beyond the idea series so that's what series we're we're um, in today we talked to Garbo Hearn and she's a long-standing um, business uh, business in the community a member of the community and with a long-standing business and today we have the opportunity to talk Talk to Keith Tucker, who is kind of at the beginning of his entrepreneurial journey and just to, to glean and just to talk and, and hear like what that process has been like and what that, you know, just, just having like the type of success that he's been having, what's that felt like and what are the kinds of trials and tribulations that he's had to, you know, endure, the triumphs, the challenges. So we get the opportunity to really learn from these business owners because a lot of times, when you're in business as a small business by yourself, a solopreneur, a solo entrepreneur, it's very isolating and it's very easy to feel like the problems that you're experiencing are only your problems. And when you get the opportunity to really connect with other business owners, regardless where they are in their journey, you get to see that some of the problems that you're dealing with are things that are easily that other people have dealt with, but that, that's, that's probably the most important part that other people have dealt with. And so that's what we're hoping to inspire you with today. Again, I'm really, really excited about uh, hearing Keith Tucker's story yes. and hearing about kind of just 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 the beginnings and, and, and where we are now. So welcome, yes. Mr. Keith Tucker. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to to the CALS organization, to the Rocket Lab for having me. Uh, I'm forever grateful for you guys just being by my side uh, through this journey and this process and just believing in my brand and uh, just believing in good people all across Arkansas. I'm really, really, really appreciative for everything you guys do. And uh, I, I, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so very welcome and you are so very worthy of, you know, all of the support that we're giving you, you know, for sure, yes. definitely. And so, so take us to the very beginning. Tell us what is Truth Sauce? Truth Sauce. It's, it's a way of life. It's a language. It's clothing. It's, it's stylish. It's, it's awesome. It's food, it's everything wrapped into one. Truth sauce is, is just truth. It's the truth. When you put it on, on, on any type of food, whether it be your favorites, your lamb, your chicken, your ribs, your steaks, it's going to work uh, in your behalf. It's a really awesome product. Um, and the steak has really gravitated towards it. And it's, it's been a fun journey and it's just been fun to see everybody just sharing and liking and ultimately going to the stores and shopping. So um, I'm just forever grateful uh, to God and to all of my supporters and to all my friends and my family that's been coming out and supporting in any way, shape, form or fashion. That's awesome. And yes. so, I mean, how did you, how, what did, where did the idea for the Truth Sauce come from? True sauce, true sauce. It came um, back in the day. I had a, a nickname where people called me True, um, and and you know it kind of just stuck with me. Uh, I have a friend named Jacob Prophet. Uh, shout out to Jacob Prophet and all pro staffs. 
uh, he, he would always truth, 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 truth. And it stuck with me. So uh, I was in the kitchen playing around one day and I came up with this particular sauce. And what other name to name the sauce than truth? So I, I, I came up with this sauce and, you know, I, I played around here and I played around there. So finally, I came up what I thought would be a great sauce. So I let a couple of friends and family taste it. I had one, one particular guy, after he tasted, he had a family event. He said, hey, I got to have some of this sauce. Uh, I got to have some of this sauce. And it shocked me, man. I, I, I had a, I had maybe a 32 ounce cup. It was just a regular cup. And I poured some up and I, I didn't even know how to sell it, you know, I mm -hmm. because it was my first sale. So mm -hmm. I didn't know how to sell it. And uh, I think I might've gave him a 32 ounce cup for $10. And uh, uh, after that, my son, he said, hey dad, you have something going here. I think you should get serious about it. I think you should put it out to market. And uh, it, it was a slow process. Um, mm -hmm. That's why I tell people, run your race at your own pace. Meaning, that. meaning, hey, just because you see X, Y, Z doing it at this rate, or they may be moving faster than you, you feel, uh, it's your race. Everybody has their own individual race. So run your race at your own pace. Don't let anybody rush you uh, or uh, or make you feel like you're going too slow or too fast on your journey because your journey is your journey. So run your race at your own pace. And uh, yeah, just for me, when my son said, hey, dad, uh, we need to put this to market. So I tried to figure out ways to, to, to bring it to market. And mm -hmm. of course, I, I, I just got some bottles and I, I found a label and I, mm -hmm. I, I taught myself how to seal these labels. I mean, how to seal these bottles and label it up. And mm -hmm. it started to get a little buzz here and there. I had a good friend named Joe Vincent that uh, came to me one day and said, hey man, this sauce is awesome. I want to put it, I want to put it in a wing competition. And I was like, hey, if you put it in a wing competition, if you lose, that's on you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's on you. Don't blame me for it. But but he, he came back and also said, hey, man, uh, they're going to let you set up the product also at this wing competition where you can come up and sell your product. So I let him use the competition. And, and I mean, I let him use the sauce for the competition. And mm -hmm. uh, as I came in the competition, uh, to the competition, you know, as I was setting up, I seen uh, a guy named Steve Sullivan coming in, in, in the building. And I'm uh -huh. like, wow, this it's, it's, it's Sullivan. And uh, he, he's, to me, he's an Arkansas legend. He's a sports guy. I'm a sports guy. And I found out he was one of the judges. Uh, wow. Yeah, he was one of the judges for this competition. Okay. So uh, my friend ended, ended up winning the competition. And at that moment, I really, really felt like I had something going after he won the competition. Right. Yeah. 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 So, I let's, so let's kind of, uh, so let's, you've, you've talked about a thousand things and, and that, and, and I want to kind of take us back to the, like the, that, that space between, you know, I'm just kind of in the kitchen doing something, yeah. you know, yeah. to, I, I really think I have something like, yeah. were you, when you were in the kitchen, kind of just making stuff, was it just for, you know, have you always just had a desire to like, you know, some people just love to cook. Some people love to paint. Yeah. Some people love to cook. What, was it that? Well, that comes from, I was, I was the head chef at, at UMS gathering place uh, oh. for maybe 11 years. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. 11 years. I just, a lot of people don't know. I've started my business. I've been doing all of this with a full-time job up wow. until, yeah, up until probably about four weeks ago, uh, three, three to four weeks ago. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I have a, a culinary background. I, I was the head chef over there. So 
I'm always trying new recipes. I'm always trying new seasonings. I'm mm -hmm. always trying new ideas, trying to get, you know, better my cooking skills. But ultimately, what can I do to create generational wealth? That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that For was me. always in the back of your mind. It Even was always in the back mm -hmm. of my, my, my mind. And when I came with this sauce, I'm like, hey, after he won the competition, I got a big uh, shout out from Steve Sullivan. Uh -huh. And I ran that shout out into the grave. I mean, every day <laughs> you might have seen that commercial. Uh, and I just ran it. And, and, and another thing I want to let people know, hey, if you're out here and you've been an entrepreneur and you're doing social media, please, please, please don't get discouraged about who's liking your post or how many likes you get or you do, it doesn't matter. Continue to promote, 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 promote. And one day the world will wake up and see it uh, because that's showing your passion. Hey, Every day you're going to see something about true sauce. I don't care what it is. I don't care who gets mad. Uh, I'm going to promote my brand. I'm passionate about my brand. And it's a lot of my people, they're passionate also. So it's, it, it's yeah. just a blessing all the way around. Yeah, so we're gonna definitely talk about the marketing because you're, I feel like your marketing is very unique and it and it is, it does show, show that drive. So we're definitely gonna talk about that. Um, yes. So, so you said, so kind of just, just charting your, your story, you, um, you had to, you know, you kind of were always perfecting this craft of finding something that was like, you know, really good to eat. And, but that could also be something that you could potentially turn into a brand to create that generational wealth. And Correct. so was really the, the, um, the competition, was that when you knew, like when it clicked in your mind, I really yes. have something here. Yes, because before the competition, I was just selling to friends, right? Okay. It was just I had no, thing. I had no business license. Uh -huh. I had no, I had no anything, uh, but a product because I mm -hmm. wouldn't for sure if if people would would see it well. You know what I mean? To, to bring to mm -hmm. market, I knew yeah. the product was good, but. I didn't know that you knew it was good or someone else knew it was good. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, after that, after you won the competition, like my, my son, like, hey, we got to do something. And the next day, I, I think I might have went out and got my business license and got the business part, trying to structure my business uh, uh -huh. to bring it to market. Yeah. And I, and I, I feel like that's a really important part. Um, it, it was kind of like... You know, so if we relate it to like our business terms and our business steps, it's kind of like that was your market research or that was your market validation where you it were was. like, OK, you know, so, you know, a lot of people kind of get started with uh, ooh, I, and someone has a question. But a lot of people kind of get started with friends and, and family kind of selling to them. And, and I think that builds a level of confidence. It, it, does, it does, you know, because in the beginning with Move Makeup, that's who I sold to was family and, you know, friends. They, they, they kept asking for it. And kind of yes. like how you had that friend that was like, dude, I need to have some of this. I need to have exactly. some of this, exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. that kind of keeps you, you know, that, that keeps you going. But you do kind of need or it's really it's really nice. It's, it's, it's almost maybe vital to know to have that moment when it's validated in the market. Yes, you know? yes, so, yes, yes, yes. It's critical, but also I just want to tell people, don't be discouraged. Uh, listen, li listen to, listen to the criticism, uh, but don't get consumed by the criticism. Because some yeah. people get consumed and discouraged about criticism. I mm -hmm. mean, everybody doesn't like truth sauce, and that's okay with me. But I know I have a majority of my people, they love, love, love it. And man, it's inspiring to me. It's, it's some real influential people around that, that just like, uh, it's okay. And just think if I would have quit when I heard someone say, hey, it's just okay. You know, we're all human and things hurt, but I just want to encourage anybody, man, just to keep on. If it's a dream and you're passionate about it, keep on keeping on because you never know when your day is going to be your day. If you quit, we know your day is not going to be your day. 
So keep on keeping on, stay focused, stay hungry, stay motivated, and just keep on keeping on, please. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And I guess the, the term I was looking for was the proof of concept. It was the yeah. proof that, you know, you you actually had a concept that was viable. And mm -hmm. uh, we, we have a question here from, or actually just a, um, actually it's a question, but it's a, it's a statement. Uh, Mr. Philip Adams says, many Forge startups struggle to decide if they should keep their full-time jobs as they build their business and for how long they should keep it. Um, what's your advice, Keith? How did you evaluate this decision? For me, it, every, every situation has its own merit, right? I mean, I mean, my situation may be different from yours, and you know, your situation may be different from mine. Uh, hey, my Keith, thing, I want really quick, I think we might have lost your video. But uh, okay, there we go. There we go. We're back. <laughs> yeah, every situation may be different, and just for me. I was nervous like anyone else. You know, you're used to getting every two weeks or whatever it may be. Hey, we're used to seeing this. You know what I'm saying? And it was just a it was just a point for me when I was at work, I was handling more true south business at work than I was actually working at one point. So it was frustrating uh to me because hey, I felt like I should be doing X, Y, Z. I should be going here. I need to be stocking here. And my days were actually from like six in the morning to maybe 1 a.m. per day. Because once I got off work, just what? I had to go deliver to different stores. I had to go deliver to different stores. I had to go to different places. And it was just too much where I finally, you know, I asked God, I said, hey, God, You've been with me. Um, I know you will continue to be with me. I prayed about this. I worked hard for this. Um, I'm just going to put it all in your hands. So uh, that's what I've been doing. And like I said, I'm, I've been probably about a, a month out. And mm -hmm. it's, it feels good to wake up when you want to wake up. Uh, it feels good to kind of cut it off when you want to cut it off. It feels good to say, hey, if I want to go on vacation, I don't have to ask for approval. Um, so those were some key things for me uh, moving, you know, from that that position into going to full, full to my full time position, which is my passion. But, you know, to answer your question, you got to make sure your transition is kind of moving in your direction, make sure you can be able to handle your household things. And uh, it's a lot of faith and hard work. Just know when you're working for yourself, uh, at least for me, I'm working four or five times harder than I ever worked, but it feels good because it's for me. It's so rewarding, it's for me. Every day I'm tired, every day I'm tired, but hey, I might see a positive share or a positive quote or Someone said, hey, I just went and picked up four or five bottles. It makes me go harder. It makes me go harder. So, I love it. you know, just at your own pace. And if you can afford to do it, please do it. You know, you won't regret it because I think jobs will always be out here. Right. But your dreams can dwindle um, at any moment at any time. So. Follow your dreams, follow your heart, and just do, do do what you feel is best for you. That's a, such a great answer. I love it. It inspires yeah. me even. Um, I know, Ms. Roberta, did you have a question, Ms. Roberta Jones? I didn't want to make sure. I wanted to make sure that if you did, that you got the opportunity to ask it. And um, Can you hear well, me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Hi, I, I appreciate you uh, allowing me the opportunity to ask a question, but I do want to ask him a question. Um, I'm currently selling a product, kind of like he was talking about on the street <laughs> and <right>. uh, unlicensed. <laughs> uh -huh. and, I'm, and I want to know how long did it take for you to come up, you know, to finally get your license? And, and then um, how did you uh, construct, you know, how did you develop the process of going to get your uh, license and then 
the financing, coming up with the idea, because I, I know you have to get your license, LLC and all that stuff. And I'm just struggling with, you know, uh, how you get your product uh, on the market and how you uh, get it out there and how you're able to buy your stuff. And I'm, I'm just kind of struggling with that. Well, for, for me, um, it's research, it's bumping into people, and it's, it's steady, um, steady networking, right? So finding people that's kind of in your field of whatever you're sex, uh, uh, selling or whatever you're doing, just finding people in your field that's doing that. But as far as business, you can go to the Secretary of State. And I wanna say for your LLC, uh, it may be 45 to 50 bucks uh, for that. So that would be your first step is, is to go get your LLC or Encore. And I, I wanna say it's 45 to 50 bucks right here in the state of Arkansas. And of course you, you have to renew every year, but it's 45 to 50 bucks just to get you started. And um, I say, go for it, go for it. As, as far as what, what field you are in, uh, that, that, I don't know what field, are you, are you still on Miss Roberta? I am. Okay, what field are you in right now? Well, like, it's what kind of like, saying? it's kind of like uh, gift baskets. Okay. Give best. So, you know, first start and get your get your uh your LLC. I say it'll be forty five to fifty bucks through the state of Arkansas, and uh, uh, and you just go from there. You know, uh, keep promoting your brand because it sounds like you have some support as we speak today, right? Yes, I do. I, I, I'm uh, like you. I starting off with family and friends, yes, and I have just so many ideas of stuff. And look, I actually had a barbecue sauce when I saw your story online. I was like, "See, baby, I could have did my barbecue sauce because yes, I let and somebody discourage can. me." And you still can. And you still <laughs> can live out your dream, baby. Um, and you can always feel uh, free to inbox me at any time, and I'll give you any knowledge that I know on uh on doing that so okay, I'm, I'm very like one thing about me is if i have any knowledge on anything i try to share as much as i can with people because i just like i feel like paying it forward is the way to go i but appreciate yeah. that thank you no problem no, I Thank you so much, Keith. Uh, and Ms. Roberta, I want to make sure you also know of the other resources that you have. So Remix Ideas is um, the kind of the parent company of everything that we're even doing here at uh, the Rocket Lab. And there's a business academy that Remix Ideas has. And all of the questions that you're talking about, like how do I legitimize my business? What do I do next? How do I market it? How do I figure out what types of packaging yes. are best and all that kind of stuff? That's what the Business Academy is all yes. about with Remix yes. Ideas. So I highly encourage you to get in touch with Remix Ideas um, about the next step because that's really, really going to help you exactly where, especially where you are in your business, kind of where you know you have something viable, but you're just like, how do I, how do I take it to the next step? I Lynch. appreciate it. Y'all have made me smile this day. Thank you. God. Yes, ma'am. Oh, and hey, well welcome. wishes to you and your uh well wishes to you and everything you're doing. And I just I'm praying for much success for you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. Um, and someone's asking if we can share the contact information for Remix Ideas. I will definitely get that by the end of the uh by the end of our program. I've got to find the web address. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, there goes the allergy cough. <laughs> but okay, so getting getting back to uh, your story, Keith, like you like you've mentioned, your marketing is phenomenal. And I just want to talk about some um, just kind of start with, I think it's beautiful what you said in the beginning that you know, just keep putting your story out there, keep putting your information out there, regardless if you get one like, two likes, no one sees it and being kind of funnel or tunnel visioned about that. Yes. And I mean, and, and then you got the truth sauce song and, and, and you've got a great team behind you. And I just yep. want you to talk about that because 
yeah. mean, as as small businesses, you know, first year of business, yeah. you it's been phenomenal to see. Yeah, I, it, it's been a blessing. Uh, it's been a blessing. I have a music background. My dad, uh, he played in one of the biggest bands uh, as, you know, when I was a youngster, Soul, Mind, and Body. Shout out to Soul, Mind, and Body. Uh, he was the bass player, but I just grew up in music, uh, around music. So I, I wrote music. I sing here and there. Um, so that came about with the True Soul song. I came out... Um, I had a little melody and I gave it to my good friend, the Don Moses. Hey, this guy, he he's worked with uh, Rick Ross. He's worked with uh, Roscoe Dash. He's worked with a lot of phenomenal artists. He, he was signed to Universal, I think, at one point. Wow. So, yeah, he, he stays in Atlanta. So I, I got that idea to him and I shot it to him and he sent the song back. Uh, you know, both of us co-wrote it, and now the Truth Out song is now streaming on all major platforms also. So you guys go to Spotify, you can pick it up. You can pick it up on iTunes for $0.99 cent or $1.29 on all major platforms. But, uh, I yeah, I got this song to him, and I said, hey, with this product, we got to have a nice jingle. We got to have something soulful. We got to have something catchy and some ultimately that people would think about and, and just randomly. So I've had people telling me, hey, man, I'm in the shower singing this. I'm on the way to work singing it. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm cutting the grass singing it. It's been going crazy. The people love the song. The people love the product. And I'm just forever grateful for it, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's been amazing to see, you know, the stories and, and to hear all the, 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 the banter uh, about the Truth Soul song. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. it, it's it's really amazing, and it is. I find yeah. myself just randomly singing it, and I'm like, what? yes, I'm singing the truth song. <laughs> yes, 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 and that's and that's what that's what we were going for when we came with you know, and it's just a part of marketing. Everybody doesn't have to have a a, a theme song to it, but just for me, I I have visions of where I know I want to take my brand, and for me and my brand. It was purposely needed uh, for what I have in store for it, but yeah, just 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 marketing, 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 marketing. I always try to think outside of the box. I want to relate to people, uh, to relate to my audience, and that's the thing in marketing. You got to find your audience, right? Mm -hmm. And that that doesn't mean you know don't think outside the box and pull people into your audience, but first. Let's find your audience, kind of cater to them and figure out whatever works, you know. But uh, I have a nice audience. It's growing every day. Um, and I'm just I'm just thankful and blessed uh, that it is doing that, man. But uh, the True Soft song, I love it. I love yeah. it. You guys go download it. <laughs> it's pretty great. And um, I wanted to kind of get your, um, your surmise or your kind of opinion on, or your advice actually, on being in that first year, small business, solopreneur. And like you said, you were working full time up until just a very, very short time ago. Yes. And yet you were posting every single day and yes. your videos are so well done from, you know, yes. from months and months ago. And yes. I think a lot of times business owners, small business owners, particularly starting out, it's overwhelming. It's yeah. like, I, I can't, how can I post every day? How can yes. I do these high quality videos? So what yeah. advice do you have about that? And how do you do it? <laughs> well, for me, when I was working, I had to be at work at 730, right? Mm -hmm. So I figured out a way. I always would try to come up with a video the night before, after after my day was done. It may be 12, 31 in the morning. I would try to put together a video to come out with for the next morning before I went to work. So uh, I and I also noticed, you know, you got to know as as far as social media goes, like what kind of goes and what kind of does it. And what I mean by that is the timing of it. For me, Facebook, if you post after 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock noon, 
sometimes it's tough for people's people to see it. I mean, you may not see it till three to four days later, you know, and, and it's gone. So I noticed like if you post early, like before 9 a.m., that the majority of people will get it. And also another tip is most people, when they wake up, they go to their social medias, right? They go to their Facebook, they go to their Instagram, they go to their TikTok. So if they go in there every morning and they hear all I ever wanted was some true sauce, <laughs> it's going to stick with them throughout the day. So uh, just try to get, do it early, do it often, uh, and don't get discouraged about who's liking and who's not, because please believe me, people are watching, they're seeing, and some people, they might not even say anything. They might not even like it, but guess what? They might just go out and support your brand because they see you're faithful, you're working hard, and uh, you have passion about your brand. So just, just be persistent, and it can get overwhelming. Uh, I tell people, you know, close close friends of mine, I say, hey, if they only knew, you know, some people just see the, 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 the nice picture or the nice video behind the scenes. Sometimes it, it can be really, really frustrating, but uh, I try to work through it. And this is my true passion. I feel like God called me uh, to do this. This is, it's a part of my journey. Uh, it's one thing in life. I feel like I'm getting right. You know, I have my bumps and bruises. I'm learning every day. I'm learning from you. I'm learning from Benito. I'm learning from random people. I'm learning. You know, you always have to be open to learn, learn, learn as much as you can. So, you know. I, oh, I love it. I love it. And yes. it kind of um, leads me into my next question. And you kind of alluded to it a little earlier. Um, about the vision, the vision for your business and how that can move you and, and, and kind of help you move through those difficult periods and those, yes. those, those moments of frustration. And, yes. you know, can you talk a little bit about that? Like, you know, because I, I think a lot of times business owners in their first years, they may not have a vision for their business and they may not mm -hmm. know how important that is to kind of mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. help you, you know, help exactly. you in those, those Vi dark times. Vision is, vision is key to anything you want to do, right? If you don't know where you're going, you know what I mean? So at least you want to, you want to kind of map out an idea of where you want to be, you know, what kind of things you want to do. And then from that point, start to tackle some of your vision, right? So I know for me, it was like, hey, I got to get in stores. I got to, I got to get in stores, you know, and what's ways, uh, what, 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 what kind of ways, you know, do I go about getting in stores? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I started out doing a lot of pop-up shops, you know, pop-up shops, just trying to get my name out there. Uh, and ultimately, you know, uh, JK's barbecue, they, they took a chance on me and two sweet bar and grill. And I'm forever grateful. I think those were the first two people to ever have true sauce. And that was when I was bottling it uh, myself, you know, and they took a chance on me and I, I kind of let them know my vision of where I projected, you know, uh, my company to be. And, and they got right on board with it. And plus they love the product. So, you know, you want to you want to find a good product and you want to have vision uh, is where where is your brand going? Where do you want to be? Where do you want your brand to be, uh, whether it's in uh, a year from now or whether it's tomorrow? Where do you want your brand to be? And, you know, dream big, but also have reasonable goals. Uh, reasonable day-to-day -day goals, you know, uh, and that shouldn't, you know, dim your light, you know, that shouldn't dim your light um, about having reasonable goals, you know, if it's yeah. nothing but saying, hey, I sold two today, tomorrow I want to sell five, you know, and, and find ways 
you know, creative ways to sell five the next day. You know what I mean? So you got to have a vision. Vision is key. You got to know where you want, want, want your brand to be. And that's a great way, you know, for you to manifest some of your dreams. Because if you don't know where you want to be, like, I feel like you don't have a purpose, at least for me. Uh, without vision, there's no purpose. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you made a wonderful point. I mean, you you knew that you wanted to be in stores, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Because <laughs> yeah. you've been, you have absolutely yet seen that vision come to life, have made yes. that come to fruition. Um, but I mean, if you didn't know that, you could have been continuing to just sell at pop up shops forever yeah. without yeah. having a goal in mind. You know. Yes. So, yeah. It yeah. makes you. You you know illuminated that perfectly. So yes. so so tell us a little bit about how the, the the brand has grown. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. Um, the people, um, the people, the people, the people of Arkansas. Any and everybody in Arkansas right now, I want to tell you, Keep Tucker Jr. and from my son Keep Tucker the third. We thank you for really showing up and showing out. Uh, the, uh, everybody in Arkansas has really just gravitated towards, and, and, and not only Arkansas, throughout the state. Um, uh, my, uh, the guys over at AY Magazine, uh, Arkansas Money and Politics, Arkansas Times, Channel 11, Channel 16, uh, Shop Black Live, uh, Remix Ideas. It's been phenomenal to see my people in Arkansas really show out and really uh, just get behind this Truth South movement. It's, it's, to me, it's a movement. It's a movement. I love it. yeah. It's a movement. Everybody around here, um, they, they, they're loving the South. Uh, they're just supporting they like to see positive things going on in the community, um, you know, and I, I, I could be doing anything. My son could be doing anything, but we chose to do some positive. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away about by the support that's been given throughout the state and the support that's continually to come in. Yeah, it, it's been it's a blessing. It, well, you absolutely deserve it. So you're now, how many stores are you in now? Honestly, <laughs> I've lost count. I want to say at least, I, <laughs> I want to say at least 40, 40 stores wow. that uh, carry true sauce in some type of way. They either selling the product or they're putting it on their food. Uh, but it's a lot. You, uh, It's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm forever grateful for it. I, I want to say it's like 40 to 50 uh, stores. Wow. Uh, it's 12 stores with all the Edwards food giants uh, in itself. And uh, I'm wow. grateful for the Edwards uh, food giant cash savers, um, for, for drug importing, for Uncle T's, for the curb market, the filling station, um, the kitchen store and more over in Conway, uh, Rock City Kitchen, certified pies, Boss's Chicken down in England, Arkansas, Pass on Joy in Stuttgart, uh, wow. and the list, uh, the list, of JK's Barbecue on Cantrell, and the list keeps going and going and going to Sweet Barn Grill. I'm forever grateful for everybody. Greek for Life over, over there on JFK. So it's a lot of people. Uh, We've got that, it. We've got it here at the River Shop. And let's not forget, <laughs> you guys, please, the River Shop. Go down, if you want to see an excellent, excellent put together uh, place, go by and visit the River Shop. Lil will have to give you the address. We, we went over Saturday for the soft opening. It was amazing. It's, it's something beautiful that the state can get behind. And I'm just grateful to be even in the River Shop. It's a blessing they have troops out in there. They have a lot of great different vendors in there. Uh, and I'm, I'm forever grateful. Please visit the River Shopping. Well, thank you. Yes. yes. <laughs> and yes. we definitely, like both Benito and I love the truth sauce. <laughs> yes, indeed. I have my seasoning and my sauce. And yes. I mean, I use it on everything. It's, yes. It's yes. replaced my my all seasoning. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. And so I know there are some people who want to, they might not be ready to go into stores, but they want to do that. Can you give mm -hmm. just a little bit of advice about like how you start that process? It's, it's persistent, persistent. I feel like just being honest, you have to have your people's support before you can even bring an idea to them. Right. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's about selling. It's always going to be about the numbers. Uh, when you talk to big time corporations, they want to have a great product. So make sure your product is good first. Make sure you're you're driving in your support, uh, you know, and your sales. And often, if you can, you can even if you if you have the the proof in the pudding, uh, that's that that's that's always uh, a beneficial help for you when you're trying to uh, submit those things. So. That is key. Get yeah. you a good following. Make sure you have a good product and know you can sell. I mean, it's a lot of people. Uh, and, and it happened to me just by the goodness of God. I mean, you guys would understand half of my journey. I would say probably 70% of my journey has just been divine intervention. And that's why I know that it's purposely by God. I mean, I could tell you yeah. stories and stories and stories and you would be like, wow. Uh, even from the uh, food giant, I mean, that was just an act from God, how that happened. Um, wow. it, it, it's, it's just a blessing. Just a great product, you guys, and a great following behind your product is key. Get that first. I got that. That that is that is so key, and that's really 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 great advice. Um, yeah. I just want to encourage everyone that if you have questions, we have about maybe 10, 15 more minutes left. So this is a perfect opportunity to put your questions in the chat or raise your hand because I mean these are rare opportunities to be able to talk to you know business owners like Keith. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me for the call. Um, so last question I want to ask, future goals. Well, I, I want you to tell us about the products that you got there. Because, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows all the two soft products, but still. We I got the new, we got too. the brand new barbecue sauce. Truth barbecue sauce. I want to let everybody know that the best barbecue sauce you've ever tasted is now here. Uh, please get out, support Truth barbecue sauce. Uh, it's at all the Edwards Food Giants, all 12 from Harrisburg, Ford City, Mariana, um, Jacksonville, Camp Robson. It's also sold at Drug Emporium. So right now, uh, you can find Truth's Barbecue Sauce. It is an awesome product. It has true Sauce in the barbecue sauce. So it's a combination of both worlds, and it's ready for this Mother's Day and Memorial Day. Uh, and you guys, please go get it while it's on the shelf. They're selling out fast. I've had stores that I have to restock two to three times in a week because it's going, it's going, it's going. The demand for True Sauce has been really high. And I thank you guys. I thank you guys. I thank you guys forever um, for supporting me and uh, just getting behind this product. But of course, we have the True Sauce barbecue. We have the all-purpose seasoning that uh, it's only five calories, it's healthy, uh, it's only 3% sodium in it, so it's, it's good to go. And we have my bae, my first love, the truth sauce. You can never go wrong with this. It's going on everything. People are literally putting it on everything. They're putting it on their ribs, their chicken, their fish, their lamb. They're putting it on shrimp. They're putting it on greens, cabbage, whatever you can think of. <laughs> People are putting it on. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. Those, yes. The, I've got to get some of the barbecue sauce. That's the new the one. The barbecue I'm sauce at. is phenomenal. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. And like, I, I really do expect a lot of homes to have it uh, this uh, Mother's Day as well as Memorial Day coming up on the uh, uh, later on in the month. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yes. So tell us, can you tell us future goals? Give us a little peek into what we're I have going. some I have some huge news that's going to happen in the future. Uh, we're about probably maybe a month or two away. Uh, I have some huge news in development. Uh, it's hard just keeping it secret, 
but Can just know we're we're expanding. Uh, we're 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 uh, we want to expand more throughout the state. I'm mm -hmm. a firm believer of uh, securing home before you secure other states. So it's still places in Arkansas that doesn't have true sauce. So now I have to go make sure I look at the market. I look at the uh, I look at the map and try to tackle some of those places that uh, don't have true sauce. We're all over South Arkansas. Uh, we're in West Arkansas, we're in East Arkansas. I need to tackle up North Arkansas. So uh, any vendors in the Fayetteville uh, area, if you guys see this, contact me at truthsouthinc at gmail.com and let's make something happen, please. I love it, I love it. And that is how you do it. Yes, <laughs> you know? yes. Always getting that networking done. Excellent, yes, excellent. Yes, yes indeed, yes so, indeed. Do you have any final advice, any final words of wisdom for our aspiring business owners out there? Be passionate, be courageous, be fearless, follow your dreams and uh, give it your best. I, I feel like if you do those things right there, you can, you can really go to bed at night peaceful. Uh, if, if I, I've given true sauce and I have more to come after I leave this interview right here, I'm back to work. I'm going to stock some stores up, but give it your all, give it your all day to day and be kind, uh, be kind as you can be. You have a lot of people that want to invest in you. A lot of people that want to shop in you be kind to those people, even when they're wrong and you're right or vice versa, be kind to these people. Be kind to everybody that's supporting you and follow your dreams and dream big. Please dream big. Don't let anyone kill your dream. Don't let your age kill your dream. Hey, it doesn't matter if you're 60 years old. If you have a dream, go after your dream. If you're 70, go after your dream. If you're 15, go after your dream. Go after your dream today. Um, you know, people, people um, will try to discourage you and discount you and don't listen to negative uh, energy, please. This is key. Please keep positive energy around you. Positive energy. Uh, positive energy will take you a long way. Negative energy and naysayers, please remove them out of your circle and just have positive energy around you and you will get positive results. I just love it. I, I love it so much. And I want to make sure that you are able to see the comments in the chat. I'm going to read them to you because I know you're far away from the screen. Yeah. Um, Tice says, congratulations and great job on a delicious product. Kaylin says, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much for the inspiration on today. Um, well, Juan Chantel says, I have enjoyed the candor and sincerity. Uh, pray your business is blessed beyond measure, Mr. Keith. Thank and Ms. Roberta Jones says, blessings to you. You are a winner. I like Thank the you. comments that you make and you're so positive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank just you. like. Hey, I thank everybody that's tuned in today. I thank you guys. I thank the Cows, uh, the Cows organization, Remix Ideas. Uh, you guys have, have been a pillar to uh, what's been going on with me and my career and you guys have been such a great help uh, with getting the truth soft word out there, the message out there, and ultimately the product, that it's a good product. You guys have been so influential in, uh, in getting that word out there for me and I'm forever grateful. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything you do. Uh, and I'm gonna call away if you guys ever need me. Well, thank you. And again, you deserve all of that, every single bit of that support. Um, Kimberly says, and, and Tiana says, congratulations on your success. Uh, Kimberly, Kimberly says, congratulations, Mr. Keith Tucker Jr. for your accomplishments. Thank so again, you. Thank we all are really, you know, just inspired by you and we congratulate you and thank you for spending thank this time with us in your busy busy schedule you yes, know yes. Thank, thank you, you for thank you. yeah I'm taking thank you guys for having me today and if you guys are watching this and you haven't got your troop sauce today please go get your troop sauce for mother's day it'll be it works well for a little basket if you want to create one for the mother uh the troop sauce the seasoning and the barbecue 
What moms don't love to cook? This is the perfect gift for your Mother's Day. Stop by any Edwards Food Giant, any drug emporium, um, the River Shop, of course, uh, Uncle T's, Two Sweet Bar and Grill. Go shop True Sauce at any vendor today, please. I love it. I love it so much. Well, yes, I'm not going to hold you too much longer for your day. I just want to thank everyone so much again for joining us for this presentation. Thank you all for being such an interactive crowd. Um, again, my name is Leah Patterson. I'm the coordinator here at the Rocket Lab, and we've been blessed and inspired today by Mr. Keith Tucker Jr. and his Truth Sauce journey. Um, this will be available and recorded uh, very soon, available um, on our website. Again, I want to encourage encourage you all, if you know business owners that are aspiring, that are looking for guidance, you know, the Rocket Lab, that is what we're providing and Remix Ideas. So if you go to remixideas.com, if you go to the Rocket Lab's website, which is at cows.org backslash rock dash it dash lab, I'll make sure I put that in the chat before we're out of here. These are the resources that are available to you to help you, particularly under-resourced entrepreneurs, to grow your businesses, to grow them, to start them, to grow them and to scale them. And so we're just excited to be, uh, be you know, part of this mission, excited to talk to amazing business owners like Mr. Keith Tucker. And um, I'm just excited for the next one. Definitely check out our website, definitely get on our email list so that you can stay abreast of our events. And in the very, very near future, you'll be able to actually join us here at the Rocket Lab and partake in our different services that we actually offer here on site. So thank you all again. Great, great time. I really appreciate you all being here and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Ah, and there, Tamika, in the in the chat. Thank you so much, Tamika. There is the Cal's Rocket Lab web address and a few um, a few messages up was the Remix Ideas web address for anybody that's looking for information on the Business Academy. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you at the next one. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Bye, everyone.